everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Ever Music. Thank you so much for another amazing riff suggestion. This is, of course, The Darkness is Growing on Me, an amazing song. Now, in three days' time, there's going to be another video teaching you the whole song. So the intro, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, how to solo, everything. But I thought what I would do is take out snippets from that video and just show you how you can play some of the fun riffs with one finger. <laughs> So this is that video right now. So thanks for tuning in and let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is when you pick up your guitar, it's going to be an E tuning. Meaning your thick E string is going to be tuned to E. What you need to do is grab a tuner or you can try and do it by ear by playing the fourth string open and tuning down, so D tuning, so your thick E string is down to D. It's called drop D tuning because we're only dropping one string, we're not changing the other strings. So here's E, we want it down to D. Now that you've done that, we've done that with a tuner, let's get started. The greatest thing about being in this drop D tuning is normally power chords, you'd need two different fingers on two different strings. But now you only need one finger, so that means if you want to play any power chord on the thick E string, just use one finger to hold down both strings. So for example, I'm using a first finger to hold down the fret on the seventh fret of the thickest string and the seventh fret on the fifth string. And that's a power chord. So just experiment with that for a little while. Again, bridge pick up, bit of distortion there. Now, to play that sort of start, the classic sort of riff of this song, you play open two strings, sixth string and fifth string. Play that twice. And I would do it down and then up string. Then down and up strung seventh fret. Remember, using one finger to hold down both strings. Then move it up two frets and play the ninth fret. And to finish it, I would do a bit of a slide. So you're sliding off. And then there's the pause and there's the vocals. That's it. Then you do it again. Then the second time you've done it, then you use your first finger, remember holding down two strings, you play the seventh fret twice, then the same sort of riff that we played before. So fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, open twice. So what we've just done then, that's the first time, second time. That's it. Then you just repeat that verse. Fantastic. So you link it, so as soon as you do that, you go back into the verse. Nice one. Now before the whole verse repeats, the last section is, you play a big chunky A chord and then you strum a little bit on this uh, modded D chord. And then you start again. Then, on the last section, so right before the chorus, you play again, that big chunky A chord. Then you play this little riff as well. So how I played that, 2nd fret on the 6th string twice, open, 2nd fret twice, 4th fret 6th string, then that 1st chord from the intro. Any questions, hit me up on Facebook and hey, if you want to learn to be a better guitarist, click on that first playlist below. I've been Pat from Pat Dave Music, see you all again, bye!